Sweet Jesus, dealing with Karen sure is exhausting. Guy just wants a TV, and before I know it, I'm in the middle of a Black Friday shopping spree stampede. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to take a look at Postal Brain Damage, which is developed by Hyper Strange and Creative Forge Games and published by Running With Scissors and Hyper Strange, a spin-off of the main Postal series. I know that Postal 4 No Regrets uh, came out in early access recently. Is it actually released yet, that game? I'm not sure, but I've, I've been around a while, as you guys know. I've played the uh, old Postal games, Postal 2. But with this spin-off entry, they're going with the retro-modern FPS style of game, which I've covered a couple of those in the past. Trying to itch that retro 90s style action FPS, as they always try to do, and most of them pull it off for the most part. I've been around for a long time. I've played in the 80s, 90s. I've been around for all the Dukes, the Dooms, the Quakes, and uh, everything else in between. The Painkillers, if you want to go a little bit later, uh, more recent in the, in the faster-paced FPS or Serious Sam. And this kind of is in that vein as well as taking some cues from more modern games like Doom Eternal. But with all that being said, you play as the dude playing the postal dude inside a twisted mind of the dude. Voiced by Corey Cruz, once again, you are in the twisted mind of the postal dude. And believe me, it's kind of screwy in there. And it does remind me a hell of a lot of Alice in Wonderland, albeit extremely edgy and fucked up. I'm playing the pre-release version. Uh, I was provided a key full disclosure as always but i am not sponsored there are bugs in this pre-release build but they're very minor really a couple of graphical bugs um, ragdoll glitches of things sticking in the air and not actually ragdolling properly with physics and uh, but nothing game breaking uh, though i would imagine most of those hopefully uh, this is modern game when we're talking about are fixed on release which will be the 9th of june um i don't actually know the price as of the making of this video hopefully it's not too expensive it feels like it would be a smaller indie title price maybe 15 20 if i'm honest but we'll 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 see where we go so yeah three chapters at five levels each you've got 15 levels there they're pretty lengthy to be honest and some of them are a bit slow paced as in there's not much action for a good amount of time and then suddenly it ramps up and you have a good bit of a, a wave based type event going on and uh, But it's quite fun. You're swinging about with the attachment for your shotgun, the grapple hook, uh, a la Doom Eternal. And uh, the weapons are pretty varied as well as beefy sounding. They have got the weapons sound and feel down pretty well. Uh, good gunplay on par with other retro modern shooters, to be fair, that I've played at least. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely not much worse, but it's not really much better. It's not really innovated in, in that way uh, too much. It's just taken a lot of good things from other good modern and retro games weapon variety as i mentioned you can kick you can pee of course it's postal there is a pistol shotgun a machine gun you've got your rocket launcher and there's also a kind of bfg type weapon which is actually pretty cool and works very much like a bfg from doom creature design is pretty varied uh, though it is edgy being postal so there are gimp suits uh, slivering about there are monsters kind of inspired by doom and things like that with the caca demon type monster that you'll see later on in the game there's only one creature that kind of gave me a lot of trouble which was the like limbs in a cage kind of rushes at you really quick that one took me a long time to adjust to its, its rush attack but for the most part the creatures attacks that you encounter are pretty manageable so for the majority of my playtime, uh, the hard difficulty was fairly easy uh, it was a couple of times maybe two or three that i actually died a couple of times and had to get used to the uh, enemy placement of things like that where especially if it was a new enemy that i'd not encountered yet trying to figure out their uh, their attack and uh, if i was low on health especially going into that area i had to just kind of work around it you know as you do in these type of games but as for the difficulty i'd probably recommend at least hard if you're like me and had a 30 years experience in this type of game you're probably gonna just blow through it anyway if you are struggling a bit though don't forget to use your power-ups there are quite a few I think all of them are from previous postal games. You've got your pipe, you've got your steroids and all that good stuff. Uh, but I think new to uh, postal are the different types of pee. Yeah, you can uh, you can have lava pee and frozen pee, and it does quite a bit of damage. So some cool stuff uh, additions here. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, but I don't think there was pee power-ups. So you could have uh, nuclear piss. Pretty sure that wasn't in previous postal games, but let me know in the comment section below if I have missed that at one point. Akimbo weapons is a pretty cool one as well. Usually reserved for a boss scene uh, which uh, there was actually a boss uh, that was a Karen in a supermarket which I, I did I did make me smile I'll admit
double the pleasure. Each level does have a handful of secrets as well. I found quite a few of them, but not all of them. And the usual fare, you'll find some uh, weapon that you might get later on in the game early. A bunch of ammo or health or one of the items I've just mentioned. So secrets can be pretty handy to find, especially if you want to go for those speedruns against friends. There's a leaderboard on the menu for each level. As you click the levels you'll have in the bottom right, a little leaderboard for how quickly you've completed a level. So you can compete against your friends and try and get the fastest completion rate. So that's a pretty cool feature, to be honest. Have a little leaderboard there and you can do 100%, any percent. So if you like having a challenge and challenging your friends and beating each other, which can be quite fun, to be honest, there is that as well. As for settings for the game on the menu, this is very minimal. Of course, it's going for that retro style pixel uh, old 3D polygon effect. So there's not much settings, to be honest. You have your field of view, you can whack right up. Uh, so I was playing with 90 field of view in my gameplay. Pretty much the bare minimum of what you need with this type of game. No fancy ray tracing to be seen here. While it is great to have Corey Cruz voicing again, I did notice myself personally, it might not be an issue to you, but I did hear the, the same voice lines a couple of times. This could be just due to the pre-release version and they'll be more varied and less yeah, frequent of the same idea. voice line one-liners. Uh, some of them are funny, but once you've heard them 10 times, 20 times, they're kind of not funny anymore. Right in the testes. I rate you jib out of 10. That's my thumb in your bum hole. Doc, I keep seeing mutilated corpses. Cow goes moo, dog goes woof, gun goes blam. And that's a wrap on my first impressions of the pre-release for Postal Brain Damage. It's a fairly competent retro modern FPS. There are worse out there, and there's definitely better out there. It all depends on that price when released. And if you're a fan of the Postal series, of course. Though I have had fun with it, and I did have to force myself to stop to actually get this commentary done before the release. But then again, I am a sucker for the nostalgia. Oh god, I'm old. So if you're interested in checking this out, or you're a fan of Postal and had no idea the spin-off Postal Brain Damage was even a thing, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Steam page. And I really hope this first impressions gives you an idea of what Postal Brain Damage is all about. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of the content I create. It all helps to grow the channel. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps next time. Ow. Doc, I keep seeing mutilated corpses.